Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Demi Saya 33 and I am here to do a video. Today is the new moon in Leo, August 2023. We'll let zodiac signs tap into the power of puppies. So let's begin. Leo rules the heart, the spine, and the circulating systems of life blood. In kind, Leos are perfectly poised to stand tall in their conditions while also allowing space for a change of heart. There's a dark moon rising in the sign of the lions, my babies. The new moon in Leo arrives on August the 16th, 2023, which, is, which was yesterday. Bringing with it the rich opportunity for reflection and creation. New moons in names and meanings or slate cleaning, field clearing we starts that ushers in a fresh lunar cycle. The new moon always aligns with the zodiac sign the sun is currently moving through. In this case, that would be the Mains and Majesty, Esra is a source, karaoke is creed, love is an absolutely sign of Leo. The new moon is the darkest phase of the moon cycle. A point of pure potential and an invitation to begin. Leo is ruled by the sun and lords over the fifth house of pleasure, play, and the inner child. And thusly, this lunation is about expression, creativity, heart melting, heart meat, healing, and shoring up our self come self. As the moon is not visible during this phase of the lunar cycle, it stands as metaphor for the shadow parts of ourselves, that we keep spirit away from others, and that we ourselves struggle to see, heal, or integrate. New Moon in Leo The new moon in Leo brings out themes surrounding relationships, competition, loyalty, and love, independence, and co-creation. Where and by whom do we feel supported? Or are we operating from a place of security or expectation? Can we feed ourselves or are we ever seeking the three validations of others? The word confidence derives from the Latin confidere to have full trust. In this sense, we can view confidence in this new moon in Leo as an invitation to have full trust in ourselves. To operate not with self-interest but with inner authority. To move through the world knowing we have a place within it and that our power has the ultimate purpose. We are deep in the midst of a mythic 40-day Venus retrograde in Leo. And this new moon could bring issues of wealth and worth to a critical point and throw our relationships into stark and staggering relief. If you are currently in conflict with yourself or someone close to you, I encourage you to resist returning to old patterns in search of fresh progress. Allow the planetary influences to aid you in determining when to walk away, when to stand in the suck, and when to lead with humility. Leo is the fifth sign that finds itself resistant to change, but being magnolia lords of the fifth house of creation, they are more capable than most in generating solutions that benefit our parties. A standout lesson for and from lions, forgiveness is itself an act of creation. Leo rules the heart and encourages all of us to wear our own on our sleeves. This is a sign that knows how to pour water size play and employ joy at its best defense. Love and liberty, hallowed by thy weary. So the new moon in Leo 2023 is excellent for making a fresh start, turning over a new leaf, or starting a new project. You can also question old habits, behaviors, and beliefs while searching for new and inventive ways to progress. Crisis me Mechanism the three-colored aspect pattern formed by the new moon, Mars and Uranus, is called a medium learning triangle. It represents a crisis mechanism or conflict resolution process in which the third color green plays an important role. The green semi-sextile brings a third point of view into the equation, which succeeds the 
Paula was was thinking of the red and blue aspects with a the pole. Green aspects allow an escape from black or white thinking and a search for causes, possible solutions, and meaning. The medium learning triangle encourages growth through an ongoing crisis mechanism that opens up great opportunities for development. There are three phases to the crisis mechanism. Red, green, and blue. Red, green, and blue. Square, simple, tile. Find conflict. Striving for solution and home normalization. The dynamic process starts with the red aspect, new moon, square, Uranus. The point of conflict is where the red and blue aspects touch each other, Uranus. The calm, balanced, pleasure-seeking state of the blue aspect, Mars trying Uranus is disturbed or irritated, causing tension or conflict, and some decisions or efforts must be made. The old state is no longer tenable. A problem has a rising that must be solved. New Moon, August 2023 meaning. The sun and moon square Uranus make the August 2023 new moon in Leo a challenging moon phrase. Unexpected events and sudden changes may cause chaos, tension, and conflict. The aspect pattern with the new moon, Mars, and Uranus also indicates a crisis stemming from a problem caused by Uranus. Thankfully, the aspect pattern also helps you solve problems and promotes self-development. Mars finds Uranus enables you to turn problems into exciting opportunities and success. However, the head of the lion and the star, Tayanyi, may give a tendency to act rashly and aggressively. And with Uranus impulsive and erratic influence, it is essential to lose patience and forethought before making significant changes. Ta'anyi, the god of the emperor of heaven, masters battles and knows the good and bad of people. If there is light, there will be harmony between yin and yang, and all things will be successful, and people will be good. Otherwise, it will be the opposite. The influence of the August 16 new moon lasts for four weeks up to the September 14th new moon. The best time for starting new projects is during the two weeks waxing moon phrase from August 16th to, to the August the 30th full moon. Okay, y'all? I'm going to go ahead and add part two in this one, okay? It's just um, some other details into it. Have title your your horoscopes, okay? That the moons, that the planets want me to tell y'all. But before we begin, got a little bit more to tell you about the new moon in Leo. New moons are a time for rejuvenation and manifestations. If you have a lack in your life, then this is the time the collective will work to fill it. Whether it's through a new experience, person, or item. We must make space for beginnings and foolish behavior during new moons. Mind you, we are all fools when beginning something new, so don't be scared to get experimental. For For newbies, a new moon is when the moon and the sun meet at the same degree, forming what astrologers call a conjunction. As an astrologer, as an astrology practitioner, I'm all about precision before cutting through diamonds is possible. New moons are a time for setting intentions and goals to manifest. Take the theme of each new moon as inspiration to bring forth the best version of yourself. Bitch, the spotlight is on you. Make a move. Now is not the time for the good good act. Playing it shy or shrinking yourself to fit into the mold. For real, babies, it's motherfucking Leo season. You can play it small and be a mouse or live large and let your mane out. Flush your... F- <laughs> yeah, y'all crazy. The sun told me this year. I mean, the plan, they had a top. Okay. Flush, fluff your fro and let the crowd adore you. Far too often, people feel the need to coward at the thought of being seen. If the full moon in, in Aquarius earlier this month taught you anything, you know that normal is a myth. 
There is no foolproof way to be a human. And no one can tell you you need to dim your light. Unless you are being a massive brute or something tote or not cool. As long as you are living life with compassion and tons of kindness, expressing yourself is fine. Making the most of this transit calls for digging deep and doing some retrospection and reevaluation. Get clear on how big of a fan you are of yourself. If you an icon, cool. If you think there's something a little icky about you, check yourself, boo. On August the 16th, 2023, at 5.30 a.m., the moon conjuncts the sun, both in the warrior sign of Leo, forming a new moon. Hot girl, summer is almost over, and you have only a few days to set the streets aflame. Will you paint the town red or dim it into a cool blue? No shame, baby. You do you. Just ask yourself, what can I do to end my summer with pride? Okay. Read your horoscopes based on your sun, moon, and rising signs. Read for your sun sign to gain insight based on the version of yourself that you are maturing into. Your rising sign to reflect on your present state. And your moon sign for guidance on how to care for your inner child. Your horoscope for the new moon in Leo is... So if y'all have Aries, anywhere in y'all chart, it's for you. Aries, how do you rob yourself of joy? Sometimes the world's joy and happiness are loose, interchangeable. However, they differ in meaning. Happiness implies excitement because it's, it is legendously associated with luck. In contrast, joy is more still and can be achieved simply by being grateful or you chasing sheep thrills. If y'all have Taurus anywhere in y'all show up, this is for y'all. Taurus, have you done the necessary shadow work to figure out why you love like you do? Sometimes pride is the results of disassociation and shame. Instead of sitting with the cringy, cringy feelings that growth offers, we may opt out of emotional discomfort. By blocking out your memories, oh sorry feelings, it is possible you are robbing yourself of the fullest sense of pride. If y'all have Gemini anywhere in y'all short, it's for you. Gemini, what is one lesson you learned during childhood that has stuck with you into adulthood? Some studies become like seasons, so ordinary that we can occasionally miss the moments that should be appreciated. Are you aware of how sunrises and butterflies illuminate the mundane moments of life? Or how wisdom from your mother or a stern message from your father might have changed your life for the better? If y'all have cancer anywhere in y'all short, this is for y'all. Cancerians, do you feel valued within the world of work? Understanding and respect go hand in hand. Even though they are two different concepts, they support each other. Without respect, there may be no motivation to understand. Without understanding, it may be easier to show disrespect. When you know your purpose, it becomes more challenging to accept disrespect. So, this is for you, Leo. This is your season. So, if y'all have Leos in the way and y'all sure it's for you. Leo, how is what you are learning shaping the person you are becoming? The sun is shining on you, Leo. It is guiding a path for you. So, take a deep look in the mirror. Who are you becoming? How do the objects you adorn yourself will reflect who you become? It's worth remembering and reviewing your story through the way you choose to look. Imagine it imagine if your style could talk. If y'all have Virgos in a way and y'all short this for y'all. Virgos, how does closure feel in your body? When it is a time to leave a party, you may feel your body begin to unwind. Your feet may point to the door when you stand, and your shoulders might tense if you feel obligated to stick around for small talk. talk. Do you think the same is true for closure? Do you take note of when it is time to break up, or how it feels when there are words left unsaid? If y'all have Libras anywhere in y'all short, this is for y'all. 
Libra, what is life without socialization? Consider taking a break and reflecting. You may feel like as though each time you try to extend yourself to others, you fall back into a flop era. You are supposed to push yourself out there, Libra. Just remember that you may be achieved more social success by receiving more than you provide. If y'all have Scorpios anywhere in y'all short, it's for y'all. Scorpio, when was the last time you wrote down all of your achievements? Success is nothing without celebration. Whether you celebrate major flexes or minor breaks, make sure you are taking time to appreciate how far you come. Doing the work to follow your dreams is no small thing. It requires knowing your purpose and taking a risk on yourself. If y'all have Sag, I just seen 555, so 15, so 6 could be significant. 555, Shane, she's coming. If y'all have Sagittarius anyway, y'all sure it's for y'all. Sagittarius, did you forget that learning can be fun? When you take your life away too seriously, you risk forgetting joy. Avoid turning your studies into your vocation, at least for right now. Change your mindset and you will find that framing is nearly everything. What may feel like a drag to get through can quickly turn into a, a scavenging hunt. If y'all have Capricorns anywhere and y'all short, this is for y'all. Capricorns, when was the last time you cleared out your home? Summer is ending and so is the need to hold onto clothes you never wear. Take time to explore your home and figure out what is taking unnecessary space. While winter can make us desire to hoard things, there's a whole season between now and then. Get rid of what or who you don't need and spend fall picking up the pieces. If y'all have Aquarius in a way, y'all short, this is for y'all. Aquarius, how does your inner child struggle with communication? Communication can get the best of all of us. You may have days when you feel like you're on top of the world and can master your conversations. Other days might not feel so brilliant. How do you deal with social struggles when you were younger? How about now? Last one. If you, This is for you, Pisces. If y'all have Pisces in a way and y'all short, this is for y'all. Pisces, what does it take for you to permit yourself to love yourself? Love is recognizing that you deserve to more than just live. You need more arts, more creativity, and more sensitivity. When you feel focused, all your care on others, you rob yourself of the opportunity to appreciate yourself. Any changes to yourself or your routine would be most fulfilling when you are doing them for yourself, okay? So hopefully this helps you out. Hope y'all have a good new moon, okay? New moon cycle, three, okay? Three, three could be significant. New moon starts three days before, three days after, okay, y'all? Manifest good things, okay?